So today we'll understand how to convert categorical data into numerical data. Okay. So first understand what is categorical data. So let's understand this with an example. So assume we have this as data set in that name is there corresponding to the name, some education of the particular person is there, the country he or she belongs to, gender and the score are there. So see that these are the scores. So these belongs to numerical data or numerical column. These belongs to categorical column. So what are the categorical data? That basically contains alphabets. So we can find out the categorical columns that basically contains alphabet in short. So, but how we'll find that, which are the categorical columns in our data set? So first we'll find how to find the categorical columns. Categorical columns in data set. So there are various ways to do that. Few ways I will list here. So first you can use data.info, right? So info will give you the data types of your columns. So with the data types, you can find out if the data type is object or categorical, you can find out that that particular column belongs to categorical value. Next, you can find out with the help of D types function D types, uh, sorry, D types. So this also will give you how uh, that which columns are categorical columns. Next, you can find out with a function called select underscore D types. And inside the function, you can write include equals to object. So this will also give you the categorical features that inside the cat, uh, whole data set, which one are the categorical features. So in this way, we will find out which are the categorical columns in our data set. Now, the question is, why we will convert the categorical data into numerical data? What is the need to convert categorical data into numerical data? So the need is that machine learning algorithm doesn't understand the categorical data. They only understand the machine learning under, uh, algorithm understands the numerical, numerical data only. That is only the digits, numbers. Machine learning algorithms understand the numbers. So before feeding our data into the machine learning algorithm, we have to convert the data that is categorical data into the numerical data. Okay. So the next question is now, how to convert that data? How to convert? How to convert the categorical data into numerical data? Into numerical data. So the thing is there are so many ways to convert categorical data into numerical data. So first, uh, we'll list few uh, types today. Okay, so the first way you can convert the data into numerical data is using functions such as replace and map function. Okay, you can use either replace function or map function. How you will use that? Use For example, you have column this bachelor uh, education column. So in education column, we have three categories, bachelors, masters, and PhD. So we'll replace bachelors with zero, masters with one, and PhDs with two using replace function. So this is the first way to convert categorical data into numerical data. Same way we can use map function also to map wherever bachelor will be there, it will map zero. Wherever masters will be there, it will map one. And wherever PhD will be there, it will map two. So using the dictionaries, we can do this. The second way to convert categorical data into numerical data is using label encoding.
So label encoding, how it will do? It is basically what it will do. Let's take the country column. So in country column, we can do like for we have three types: Germany, Spain, and France. So label encoding, what it will do? It will convert wherever Germany it will will be there. It will put zero. Wherever Spain will be there, it will put one. Wherever France will be there, it will put two. So our data set will be like this. After label encoding, our data set will be like wherever Germany it will do. For example, it will put zero. Wherever France will be there, it will put one. Wherever Spain will be there, it will put zero. So again Germany, so it will again put zero. So our country column will be like this after label encoding. Okay, so what's the difference between space? Uh, I, sorry, replace and label encoding. So what you can do, label encoding will not give importance to number. For example, uh, we'll understand this replace. We will use majorly when we have ordinal data. Ordinal data means it has some order. For example, see here we have bachelor, master, and PhD. We know that master degree is greater than bachelor degree and PhD degree is greater than master degree. So we can make like zero to bachelor, one to master, and two to PhD. But label encoding will not do like that. It will assign uh, zero to the Germany. See here, this is nominal data. It doesn't have any hierarchy. So we cannot say that Spain is greater than Germany here or uh, France is greater than Germany, Germany here. We are not comparing countries here. So in that case, we will use label encoding where there is no hierarchy, that is where there is nominal data, okay? So label encoding uh, can be done in two types. Uh, there are actually various ways. So we'll see here two types. You can use sklearn library. So in sklearn library, you can use from sklearn dot preprocessing import label encoder. This is one way, and other way you can use dot cat dot codes to do the same thing. Okay. But there is a disadvantage of label encoding. The disadvantage is that the numerical data that can be interpreted by the uh, misinterpreted by the algorithm. See, it will see that two is greater than one. So it will assume that France is greater than Spain. So this is the disadvantage. But we are not specifying anything about country right here. So numerical data numerical data can be misinterpreted misinterpreted by the algorithm right so to deal with this we have next category next type how we can convert the categorical data into numerical data the next is one hot encoding So in one hot encoding, the basic idea is to convert, convert the categories into zero and one form. So how, how it will do it? Let's take the example of uh, this only, Germany, Spain, and France. So it will convert, it will create three columns in your data frame three columns in your data frame and see the first column name will be Germany, second will be Spain and third will be France. So wherever Germany it will be there, it will put one, rest all zero. Wherever Spain will be there, it will put one, rest all zero. Wherever France will be there, it will put one, rest zero. So in this way, 
we will convert it into numerical data and we will drop this coin okay so in this way one hand, one hot encoding works like it will convert the categories into one and zero form so this can also be done using sklearn so from sklearn how we will do it from sklearn dot pre processing import one hot encoding other way to do one hot encoding is using pandas library with pandas we can use get dummies why the name is get dummies we are creating dummy columns in that corresponding to the country column right so these are dummy columns created so we'll use get dummies of pandas but again this has some disadvantage so disadvantage of one hot encoding is that so many columns are getting created for one country column we have created three columns three extra columns so so many columns will get created so if we have so many categorical uh, features in our data set so many columns will get created right so these are the uh, main uh, techniques how we can convert categorical data into numerical data so uh, other techniques are also there you can use frequency encoding also frequency encoding one can use um, custom binary encoding also there are many others also so uh, that you can explore by yourself so these are the basic mainly used uh, uh, things how to convert categorical data into numerical data using replace and map function using label encoding and using one hot encoding rest of the techniques you can explore by yourself so that's all for today thank you bye bye